the three processes of this quality trilogy interact with each other. It all starts with quality planning, the process of establishing quality goals and developing the means for meeting those goals. Quality planning consists of a rather standardized series of steps as follows. Identify the customers, both external and internal. Determine customer needs. Develop product features which respond to customer needs. Products include both goods and services. Establish goals for those product features. Develop a process to meet the product goals. Prove that the process can meet the product goals under operating conditions. Once planning is complete, the process is turned over to the operating forces. Their job is quality control to run the process and meet the planned product goals. Let me demonstrate with the help of a visual model. In this model, the horizontal scale is time. The vertical scale is quality in the negative sense of percent of product deficiencies or cost of poor quality. What goes up is bad. The quality planning process is at the left-hand side of the model. At time zero, operations get underway. It soon becomes evident that product deficiencies abound. In this example, the products produced are deficient in various ways, resulting in a total of 20% deficiency. Why are the products deficient? Most usually, the deficiencies are traceable to the quality planning process. That planning process, for whatever reasons, has resulted in that high level of product deficiencies. In effect, it was planned that way. Under conventional organization structures, the operating forces do not have the responsibility and or the resources needed to replan the processes to get rid of the deficiencies. However, they do have the responsibility for quality control, and that is what they do. In simple language, the job of the operating forces is to maintain whatever quality level has been planned into the process. Their job also includes putting out fires, such as that sporadic spike on the model. Here, product efficiency soars to over 40%. The operating forces take steps to bring the quality level back to around 20%. The third process in the trilogy is quality improvement. In this model, the result of improvement is to reduce the chronic level of deficiencies from the original 20% down to a much lower level, in this case, about 